Hello everybody and welcome to Grey Leveler Gaming. I am the Grey Leveler and today we're doing another trailer reaction. We're looking at House of Ashes gameplay trailer. It's about an eight minute old trailer. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be from the opening of the game. That would be my guess, I don't know. Uh, we've just done a trailer reaction to the, uh, the, tra the new trailer that's come out where there's some bloke stuck down in some kind of old, what would you call it, crypt? Kind of, I guess it's crypt. Uh, being chased by something and looking at the thumbnail uh, I'm guessing that we're going to be following these two uh, and what was probably going to be the prologue to the game. So with that being said, enough rambling, let's crack on. So just before this trailer really gets underway, I want to say that we are probably going to be Satellite discussing the war zone a few what spoilers from the last couple of games. Minus spoilers. Suspect where chemical weapons are hidden, so we need to move fast. See, I like that there's a military presence as well. Uh, that's going to add some interesting dynamics to the game, I reckon. Head out, hold fire. We're going to psy out this shit. We're going to psy out? Is that a proper term? People are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Then who the no, hell just did that? that? They're up on the race! Return fire! I'm hit! Worse. I'm liking this for a, a, a trailer though. Kind of jumping through what we're gonna ha have happen, I guess, to our characters. Yeah, just to get strength in action. So obviously, I'm guessing when we play the game properly, this will uh, work out a bit more. Oh, so we get to see both the theatrical cut and the curator's cut. I love that addition to these games. It's one of my favourite features. Mailman 21 Actual, all teams sound off. Over. Over. Gotta love the uh, the military slang, not slang, but the accent. It's how you know he's a grizzled soldier, because he talks like a bit southern. The squad must be around here somewhere. Yeah, I've got something stuck in my teeth. Trying to get it out while I'm talking. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I love this, though. Uh, but again, I'm still wondering if this is just the opening. We all know, and again, spoiler-ish, the openings to these games, Until Dawn, uh, Man of Medan, and Little Hope, it doesn't matter what you do, people are gonna die. Uh, and you can't do anything about it. It sets up the step, the control, sets up the story, but people will die regardless. So I'm wondering if that's what we're seeing here, because it doesn't matter what we see in this, it will happen anyway, which is fine. But one of the problems, I, and this is where we're gonna go into spoilers, my problems with the last couple of entries, uh, Man of the Dan and Little Hope, was nothing, spoiler, was real. What I like about this so far is everything's looking like there is something down here. And I'm guessing that whoever was shooting at the soldiers were actually the enemy. They're actually probably trying to this this place. defend this, kind of like in The Mummy. What a film that was. The original one with Brendan Fraser. Thank you very much. This is very dark, though. But again, one of the things I pointed out, I mentioned in the last trailer uh, was that they overall like jump scares. This one doesn't feel like it's going that way yet. Where on God's green earth have we landed? Now, we need to get back topside. He the looks really the familiar. Signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as f crawling with Iraqis. See, uh, obviously, um... Oh. Sergeant K, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. See, uh, in Man of Medan, there was a character, Charlie, and he was a minor character in the prologue, and then, obviously, in Little Hope, he was one of the main characters. I'm wondering if his character's going to pop up again. I mean, it was inhuman. Oh, what? In a tunnel. So I'm wondering if that he looks familiar because he's from he's previous game, and I'm just not recognising him. Don't do this, Nick. Not now. I need you to keep it together just a while longer. Come on, Nick. Something's not right. I know you can feel it. The only thing I'm feeling is that I got my work cut out with you. Again, I, I think the, the motion capture for these games are really good, but there's just something off about it. A friend of mine pointed out he thinks it's something to do with the lip. The lip doesn't quite like this? match up. But it almost feels like there's a disconnect between here and here. Okay. feels like I'm actually talking and these are doing something different. And it doesn't quite match. That's what I'm seeing from this but again this is still not quite the finished version so they might tune that up or they might not it doesn't look bad just something doesn't quite work you don't feel it 
What, Nick? Feel what exactly? But that accent can really start to grate on me. Because it, it doesn't feel like a natural accent. It feels like feels like when I put on an accent. Oh, God. Oh, I always love those. Nobody reacts to these premonitions. Which obviously means that we're the only person that sees it. But when, why do they keep touching these things that give us premonitions? It makes no sense. It's very dark. But yeah, I love the fact that we're playing soldiers as well. Uh, and there's nothing, I mean, that's why Predator is such a good film. There's nothing better than having someone well armed, well trained, and still standing no chance against something. That's what really ramps up the PSR. Uh, I, I really like the fact that they've took it in this direction. I hope that's Rope holding him up and not his insides. Jesus, I'm trying. Will you stop squirming around? He's bad. He's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Ah, thank you, Captain Obvious. <sighs> he really had it rough coming down there, though. That must be so painful. Oh, oh. he's so f***ed. <laughs> That's just what you want to hear, you know. Your friends are all here, you go down and You're going to pull through, brother. So get up. There's no feeding my back. Grab it. We're gonna pump you up, okay? I wonder if they like the smell of blood. Ooh. Hurry the hell up! We got this. You keep lookout. Looking for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? She's a terrible lookout. Go! Oh, and there we go. Speaking of the predator. Holy damn, I am really excited for this now. Maybe put your, your flashlight on. This definitely feels like the prologue. It's gotta be. Yes, he was bleeding out two minutes ago. That's not changed. You've done literally nothing. Oh, I was just about to grab my pants and start tapping square. What an idiot. You're gonna die. Shut up, man. Hold it. Skin. All right, I'm really, really, really excited for this game now. Oh, did he? Oh, did he mess up? Hold it in, man. Hold it the f in. Oh, what? That was weird. There was no icon for you to direct that to. Um, again, so it's just because early days. Not seen any keep quiet moments yet. Morphine's kicked in. Ooh, I love, love that echolocation effect. Again, they could have just done a brand new sequence just for this trailer, which would absolutely be fine. House of Ashes. Well, I've already said it. I am really excited for this game, and that has just cemented it for me. I love the look of this. Really, really freaking excited for this game. Uh, Again, one of, again, going into the spoilers briefly, if you haven't played the last two, all the threats were false, more or less. Uh, there was no real threat to your characters. Everything was either imagined or a hallucination kind of thing. That is real. And I'm so excited. And again, they weren't having things jump out of you. Yes, we've had in the trailer and this one we've just seen now, things yanked off screen. But that is different than something launching itself at you. Uh, where you've got the, you know, trying to keep your friend quiet while you don't know what's around the corner. Beautiful. Really, really.
really freaking excited for this game now. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? I know I talked a lot over the trailer. I do apologize, but I also don't because that's kind of the point of a trailer reaction. Uh, I want you to know what I'm thinking as I'm seeing it. Absolutely loving it. I'm really, really excited. Uh, and I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. And are you excited to see it come to the channel? Uh, it didn't give a date, I don't think. Now, obviously, with COVID, everything's kind of getting pushed back a little bit. So that might not be... Uh, they might not be settling on a date yet just to be on the safe side. I don't know. But anyway, uh, let me uh, let me know what you guys think to this trailer down below in them comments. And I'll see you all on the next video coming very soon. Bye.